Hi everyone, it's Tammy, and I just wanted to do a quick flip through of my planner year to date. So it is mid to end of February. So I've been using this for almost a quarter, and a quarter of a year, and I love it. I have, um, it's chunky right now. I'm going to take out some pages after I do this, but I wanted to do this so that you guys could see. So let's just go ahead and get started. This is a Moterm planner, which I absolutely love. I have a little bit of decoration out here. I don't have much. I just have my little name here and then a bit of a mess, but doing my best. And then I have some stickers that I like to use more frequently in here. And then I also have some, like if I, if I know, I don't know, if I'm going through my sticker books and I have one sticker left on a page or um, I know that I'm going to need one for something in the next week or so, I'll just stick it in here. I only have this front page done, but I'll stick it in here so that I'll know that I have it. So none of these are anything that I needed this week, but they were just pages or just stickers, like I said, that were like one sticker left on the sheet and I'll just take it off and use that. So that's this. And then I have just my laminated, this is 2024, life, life isn't perfect, but my planner is. And I'm not even going to tell you the shops that I got stuff out. I know that um, I might tell you some. I know I got this Tammy from Fancy Plans. I don't even know where the T came from underneath. And I got these from Oki Plans. Uh, this came from Chubman Hub Girl or Chub, Chub Girl, Hubman Chub Girl. I think that's right. Um, so, you know, I, I, I have a... Um, Oki Plans, I have a, P a code down below, and I also have a, clo a code for the Planners World, so check those out if you're interested, um, but it's just fun, like I just, I'm not even going to talk about the stores, because that's not what it's about, but, so I have Planners Gonna Plan, and then Don't Look Back, You're Not Going That Way, I like that, and then I have a few pictures here, here's our wedding, and this is Hazel and Chris and me. And these are my kids, Katie and Alex and Hazel. And just wedding pictures, some pictures from Hawaii. And then some pictures of Hazel. And it's just nice just to have them in here. I, I honestly don't even look at this section very much, but it's fun. And then I have Don't Act Like I'm Average. I love that sticker. And then I think I bought these. Some of these I bought on Etsy and I laminated them and then put a little tab on there, but you can, you know, you can find these things anywhere. This is a piece of washi and another sticker. <laughs> That's funny. I laminated this, but I can see that the lamination is kind of peeling up right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that might be something to look at. And this is an inside joke with Tracy. Oh, I was marking off all the days. I clearly have failed to do that. Let me just go ahead and start February. That's one good thing about this kind of thing. You can um, you can catch up. So there's my calendar for the year. And I didn't need this, but I have it attached to my calendar. So this is my personal calendar for the year. So I have January and February and March. And then, you know, obviously every month is in here. Um... I don't know. I don't know if I have personal things in here, so I don't know that I want to share all of my pages, but that's what this looks like. And then I also put on the very end another calendar just because it was blank and I had it, so I just added it to it. And then I did make uh, dividers for each of the months, and I used... Mostly, I think these came from Etsy, like a page, but you could use scrapbook paper or whatever, but I really do like them, and it's fun to have a different one for each month, and I'm thinking I will just reuse them every year, but I don't know, but here's January's, and then I put in here our January doodles or January ink that we were doing, and this is just stuck on there, so I could take this off and change it up for next year or or. I don't know. That's the only thing because I'm kind of like, well, maybe I should just leave it all together since it's 
I don't know. So I don't know what I'll do. We'll figure it out. And then this is just a page that I had and I thought that I would use it. And I think I like it. Um, a month at a glance, if there's anything that I know that I need to write in here, I will. And then I'll pencil some things in. Like I think I was having Hazel this week, this day, but I wasn't sure. So this is just a month at a glance. And then I can put top priorities and meal ideas and then to do checklist of the year and then, um, or of the month. And then Tracy was doing this and I thought that's a good idea. Just put a picture of yourself on each month. So like the start of each month, just have a selfie. Now she does hers where they're, they end up next to each other, which is probably a little smarter and maybe something I'll take away for next year. But for this year, it's fine. And then it gets into my personal planning and I do flip through. So I'm not going to do a flip through now of all of it. But I do have all of January and February in here. But like I said, I'm going to take my January out. Um, and then, so January ended on the 31st, of course, which was a Wednesday. So this page is just blank. And then it jumps into my February, which has the same kind of a thing. So here's my note, my February doodles. And then the same thing, another picture of myself. And um, then it gets into February. So again, I'm not going to go through each of my days because I do my flips and I write personal things in here that I don't necessarily want to share with the world. Um, and then, so those are my months. And then I do a highlight uh, page and then I do, so let's see, I have my highlight page and I also put a tab up here because sometimes it's easier to find that way. And I put a sticker back here. Sometimes you have to fall apart to find pieces of yourself you never knew existed. Amen, sister. And then I wrote down my monthly cleaning here because I didn't have it anywhere else, but then I put it somewhere else, so you'll see. But I did put that here. And then I just have my highlights of the day. So what I'm doing is sometimes I'll include a picture, sometimes not. But what I'm doing is I will take it and I will write the week. I'll make my to-do list. I usually will... Um, I don't think there's anything in here that I can't show. And I don't always do the highlight every day. Sometimes I'll go, I'll wait to the end of the uh, week and then just fill it all in. Um, and I'll usually, and I don't even like this fancy plans being on there, so I get rid of that. But I do like this. I like having, so this is what I used to do in my hobo weeks last year, you guys might remember. But I do it all on one page now, so I'll make my to-do list here, and then I just write a highlight in. And then I do decorate it a little bit, so like on this one you can see I put a few decorations here. Not much, but just a little bit, and then sometimes I'll even add a picture or add something else. Um, just, you know, just things like that. So that's what this section is, and I will add to it as I need, but it's just one a week. I don't even know if I need more. I may have counted off enough for the whole week, but I, or for the whole year, but it kind of doesn't feel like it. So whatever. Um, there's 52 weeks. I don't think there's 52 pages here, so I might need to get more or whatever, but that will come when I, when it comes. And then the next section is my YouTube section. I just put some of my favorite stickers here just because I liked them and I wanted to. And same with this. I love this sticker. And then here is my YouTube calendar for the year, and I've just kind of been putting a dot on the days, that, pardon me, that I post something. That way I can kind of just at a glance look and see, oh, I posted 20 times in February, and or 10 times in February, and 20 times in January, so maybe I need to step up my game, or whatever, you know, or I sometimes will post every day. I, last year, I know I, there were lots of months that I posted every single day, so you know, that can happen too. And then I write down some some ideas or I was writing down like the videos that I actually did. And then I have a section for film, edit, upload and schedule so that I can check all that off. I honestly haven't been keeping up with that. And here's actually this because I thought I could use, I have, I found these stickers. So I thought, well, why not use them? But I don't know. They aren't proving to be that great. And then, so here's my January calendar. And then this is the actual video that posted. So this is how I keep track of it. I keep track of my subs. And then if I've gotten a paycheck or whatever, I'll write that down as well. And then um, the back has goals and to-do check. I'm not going to use any of that. But I don't know that I'm going to need this for next year. I'm not, I, obviously, even for February, I haven't written down the video to do, 
but I do like the calendar. So I'll probably do the calendar next year, but I don't know. I actually like the pullout too. I, I enjoy this. So I think that next year I will do the pullout, at least right now, this is what I'm thinking, and just a calendar and just make it go January, you know, so that the back of February's calendar is March's calendar. And then, you know what I mean? Like, I think I want it to be like that instead of just a blank calendar. But that's all of my YouTube stuff. And I have that for the year in here. And then this next section, oh, sorry. I may have moved you, I'm not sure. This next section is kind of a birthday slash cards kind of a section, but I have this really cute uh, little girl with all of her presents. I needed a drink and then I put some just cute stickers in here. And then here are my birthdays for the year. And I just kind of put a dot work, friends, family. That way I can kind of keep track of everything. And then I made a little birthday sheet with everybody's birthday in it. And I kind of put down here how many cards for each month I need for birthdays so I can keep up with it. I mean, September, I have a million. There's eight, that eight birthdays. And I don't even know that that's true. I don't know why. Because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I don't know. I don't know where I come up with my things. But whatever. That's what that says. And then here's my card tracker for the year. I do like that. And I put its own little tab on it. So I can keep track of the cards that I've made and sent to um, my friends and people that I like to send cards to regularly. That's what that is. And then the next section is my book section, and it says I read past my bedtime, and I laminated this. And then on this side, I put, uh, and this is also, I put these stickers, but they're lamin they are laminated. So I've been coloring in the books with Sharpie, but I can erase this next year if I wanna reuse this. I can erase it and then just start coloring in uh, the books again. And then I have a reading log, so right now I'm on the sixth book. And then here are some book ideas that I've gotten from other people, or I don't remember where I got those. I mean, it had to be from other people, but, oh, look, I'm reading something in the water right now. So I can cross that out, um, and I'll put February 2024. Um, and like A Flicker in the Dark I read in 2023, I'd forgotten that. And then The Only One Left I read in January. And then, oh, I think a lot of these are from Reese Witherspoon's, I don't remember, but these are all in my library or Audible, so I can just go and know that, okay, next, let's pick one of these. So that's kind of, it's been working out. And then I write the title of the book, the author, when I started it, and when I finished it, and then how many stars would I give it? So like the book that I'm reading now or listening to now, I started on the 13th, but I haven't finished it yet. So there's no end date. And I also haven't colored in six, but when I do, I'll fill in those two things and color in the book. And then this last section, or not last, but this section is money. And I haven't really done much with this yet, but it says it's not your salary that makes you rich, it's your spending habits. The less you need, the more you have. I truly believe that. And then I just have some savings and some favorite shops and my codes and then buyer beware do not give these shops money for whatever reason I don't have anyone written in there yet but I know that there are some and then this has like expenses and wish list and shopping I don't know I, I don't know I don't necessarily need this but I kind of like having it sometimes so I'm not sure yet we'll see if it works out if I use it at all this year if I don't I might not include it next year but I like having it right now and this lamination got kind of messed up, but I don't really care too much. I still like it. And this is kind of my miscellaneous tab, and I love those guys. Reminds me of me and Tracy. And then I am keeping track of my mood, and I've been filling this in. I usually fill it in daily. Um, today is actually the 21st, so I haven't filled this in yet, but yesterday, and I do it in the morning. And I don't try to make the dot any bigger or smaller, but I'm looking at these seeing that some of them, some of them I've had to put more than one dot on it because I feel like 
for most of the day, I may have been one thing or, and then, but there's a little bit of something else. And then sometimes like this day, I felt all the things. So I like had to put them in there and I just put it in as one day. I was sick for an entire week. It was awful. So that's that. And that's been kind of fun to keep up with. And then these are my monthly things and I'm just checking them off here. So I told you that I found a place for my monthlies and that's what this is. And there might be some more things to add, which is great because there's room, but I do like having it here. I like having something to do. And then um, this is a cute cover page. And then life is a journey, not a destination. And this is kind of a travel page that will try. I want this to be like a lifelong thing. And these are just the places that I've been with Chris. So um, the different states that we've visited. And that's kind of what I want it to be. So I have all, I got these on looks like Caffeine Queen from Etsy, Caffeine Queens, and it's a U.S. map tracker, and it's kind of cool, so I don't know if you guys are interested in something like that. I love that Hawaii is filled out. Um, not that I need, I don't feel the need to visit every state or any of that, but it's just kind of fun to keep track of it, so that's what that is. And then I have my master to-do list at the end that I have laminated, and then I can just write down all the things in Sharpie, and then I can scratch them off when they're done, and yeah, it's just kind of cool, kind of a neat little thing. And then there's this end tracker board that I don't know, I don't know if I even need. And then I didn't even know what was back here, so I have some 2024 stickers. I also have card, and I have, oh, these are all the things that Tracy and I are going to use for collaborations. We're doing a collaboration each month. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, check out my Plan With Me videos. I have some post-its back here. These are weekend stickers, and then these are just highlight of the day stickers that um, I can use when I'm doing my weekly that I clearly haven't been using. Maybe I will leave them sticking out just a little bit so I can see them. And this doesn't want to stick on there right now. And I'm just going to put these back in here because I haven't used them yet. But it doesn't mean I won't. But yeah, so those are all of those. And I had honestly forgotten those were in there. So that's my own fault. Which is another good reason to do a flip through sometimes. And then the back. But I really, really like this Moterm. And I know that Tracy said that there's she has kind of a... A, what's it called? A knockoff uh, bow term, and she loves it too. So I don't know. I think it's kind of neat. Now I can take out all of these pages before I add my March. That's one beautiful thing about having the rings, because now, I mean, it, now it's even not as chonky, which I do like the chonk, but it's also fun sometimes to be able to just take things out and I can put all of this away. And that's the thing too, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna store them. I have a box right now that I'm keeping them in. I don't know if I wanna get a ringed binder and just store them in there every year, which is kind of what I'm leaning toward. Um, but that's my thoughts right now. So if any of you guys have any storage ideas or what do you guys do, I'd love to hear. And then I usually will try to leave the month before. So I'll probably leave February in for all of March. And then, um, so I guess I could leave January in for all of February, but I don't know. I think this is fine. Uh, or maybe I'll take February out when March starts. I don't know, but I really do like my setup. I like my planner. I have been enjoying it. And I think that you guys are seeing the flips and the planners, the plan with me's and it's all working out. So yeah, I guess that's that. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope that this helps you guys kind of get an idea of what maybe you might want to do because it's kind of fun. And I don't have too many sections of things, but I think they're all workable and usable, even if I'm not exactly using them right now, like the money one. Um, but I really do like there are things that I really like, like I really like my reading log. I really enjoy this. I like having them all in one spot. I like having the colors and I'm trying to use different colors right now. I'm sure I'll have to repeat, but um, you know, it's just kind of fun. So that's that. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.